Light linking in Blender. Here I have a red light that is only affecting the cube and the sphere. And here I have a blue light that is only affecting the cube and Suzanne. And in this tutorial I will show you how you can already play with this experimental new feature. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chris, I make free Blender tutorials, let's get right into it. I stumbled upon this by accident actually. I have Blender Launcher installed and I clicked on experimental and downloads and then in this list the top entry was cycles light linking so of course i had to download it and now it's in my library and i can launch it and this is it if you don't have blender launcher by the way you just go to builder.blender.org and then you click on branch and here it is also cycles light linking and then i just started playing because i had no idea how it works or what it does and i've never seen a tutorial about this um, I'm pretty sure it's brand new and yeah, so I just started playing with it. Let's just start with a new scene so I can show you uh, what I did. Okay, general new scene. We have a cube. I'm just going to add a, let's do a sphere again, move it on the X and also add monkey. Suzanne, let's look at it from the front, right. Then I'm going to use this light and turn it into a an area light. I think that this works with all types of lights, but I just like area lights. So I'm going to put this one here, shift D X rotate like that. Well, let's make that one red, like in the example, and let's make this one blue. And then maybe this is a bit much. So turn it down and then we go right into, we have uh, Elite, so that we have to select cycles, a GPU, and then we go into rendered view. And this is what we get. Of course, this doesn't look like anything. So let's just add a quick bevel modifier and maybe rotate it on the Z. Okay, so here we have a cube. Let's rotate it like this. The red light is lighting up all three objects. We have red everywhere. Maybe if I bring this over a little bit more, and this one too, we can see we get the blue over here, we get the blue here and here. And this is the default behavior we always have in Blender. Now we have light linking. So let me just put the sphere, Suzanne and the cube out side into the scene collection. This one is the blue light, so I'm going to call it blue, and this one is the red light. You don't have to, but um, sure helps to know what we're doing. Blue is on the right. Okay, so now if you click on a light, if you activate it and you go to the object properties tab, I think it's called, yep, then down here in shading we have light linking and you can pick a collection. Okay, so what I did was, all right, so let's just create a new collection. Let's call this one blue. And I will put everything that I want the blue light to be affecting into that blue collection. So let's, let's put, this is the blue one and I want to light up these two, not that one. Okay, so Suzanne and the cube. Suzanne and the cube into the blue collection. Now I select the blue light. I pick the blue collection and nothing obviously changes, but now I can go in here and I'm sure that this UI is going <laughs> to change because I don't know what the car symbol is for. But if you click on this, you can see we have two columns here. The first one, if you hover over it, it says light receiving state of the object or collection. And then the second column is the shadow casting state of the object or collection. Okay. so. I want this light to light up Suzanne. So I put Suzanne, click on, on the light column and include Suzanne. And now the, the blue light is only affecting Suzanne, not the cube, not the sphere. If I want the cube, I include the cube. But you can see there's no blue light going directly from the light to the sphere. However, we do get blue light down here. And that is because of course of the bounce light from the cube here is also affecting this sphere. Now, remember, this is all very experimental. The UI is probably going to change and everything, but this is the start. This is uh, the first look at this feature. So now let's try and light up only the sphere and the cube with the red light. Or, the, or, or maybe let's just light up the sphere. How do we do that? Well, let's create another collection. This time we call it red. We put the sphere into the red collection. Then we tell the red light to use the red collection and to include the sphere. 
Now this red light is only lighting up that sphere. If you want the cube as well, we now, it seems we have a problem because the cube is already in the blue collection. However, we can link objects into collections. So let's take the cube and Suzanne, bring them out back to the scene collection. Let's take the sphere, bring it also back out to the scene collection. And now we just take all three, we click, drag into the blue and we hit control on the keyboard. And then you can see the tooltip says link inside collection. If I don't hit control, it says move, but with control, it says link. So now let's link them into the blue collection. Take all three, link them into the, hold on, take these three, move, then hit control and link into the red collection. And now we have these three objects inside of the red collection for the red light. And we can say, okay, we only want the cube to be included. Sorry, I mean the sphere. And on the blue, which is using the blue collection, we probably only want to include Suzanne, like this. Now we have no light directly affecting the cube. If we want to, we just add it to the blue one and maybe also, let's go over here, maybe the red one. So this is the scene that I showed you in the beginning. So you can see we can link objects into collections because you need a collection to do the light linking feature. Now there's also exclude, which I find doesn't do anything at the moment. It doesn't change anything. And then we have that second column, which is the shadow casting state of the object or collection. And again, I couldn't see any change when playing with this. Again, this is experimental. So let me just bring the blue light over here. Okay, so the blue light is actually casting a shadow onto the monkey. The cube is casting this shadow here on the monkey. And if I go to the blue light and I go to the object properties and I say the cube should be excluded or it should be included or none, it doesn't matter. Whoops, I switched to the wrong one. Include doesn't matter. No matter what I change with the shadow setting here with these ones, um, I don't see any effect. But again, um, this is experimental. So yeah, that's it. Now I was thinking, hey, what about checks? Like for example, if I select the cube and I go to the object properties and go to shading, it also has a, link, a light linking option here inside of the shading properties. This feature is meant, I think, <laughs> is meant to be for light emitting objects. For example, I add a cylinder. You can see it has no red or blue light on it because it's not in the red or blue group and it's not included in any of these. Um, oh, actually the cylinder is in the red group now. Well, let me put it out into the scene collection. But again, it's not um, in, included in these options here, so it's not receiving any light. However, if I give this a new material, I switch it over to emission, maybe make it yellow, turn up the strength, you can see this cylinder is now affecting all of the objects in the scene. This is the default behavior that we're used to. We've had this for years. However, I can go in here and I can say this should only light up the red group and then Suzanne is not included or it should light up the blue group. Or of course I could create, uh, I mean, I mean collection, not group. I could create another collection, link in whatever I want to light up with this um, emissive object. Uh, let's just do that. Let's create a new collection, call it uh, yellow. And we link, let's link the sphere into the yellow collection. And then let's tell this object in its object properties to use the yellow collection. And we want to include the sphere. And now this object is only uh, emitting light onto the sphere. All right, this is my first look at light linking in Blender. This is not E-Cycles or XYC Cycles or a special add-on or anything. This is built into Blender and this is like I said, an experimental build. Let's hope that this makes it into Blender one day because it's a very, very cool feature and people have been asking for this for forever. Now I'm sure the whole thing, how it works and especially the UI and everything is gonna change, but this is a very good step in the right direction. 
and I'm glad that somebody's actually uh, working on this now. If you know how to use these shadow options or maybe I'm using this whole thing completely wrong, please write a message down below, like the video and maybe also consider subscribing because I will follow uh, the development of this and I will keep you updated. So just hit the subscribe button and maybe activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you soon.